Hello you diapered muskrats, Jim Sterling here and this is Horror Hospital. And you don't get much more direct than that. That more or less says everything you need to know about a video game. Horror Hospital, let's hit new game and go. This is the first impressions of 2017. Here is a sign of what Steam has got in store for us for the next year. That's how I choose to take this. Scroll down. If it is full of despair, you die. Focus on the task, so don't fill this meter here with despair. Zero out of eight, the number of pictures that this find pictures. Oh, God. Slender clone! It's always eight. Make it five. Treat us with five. Okay, so we gotta find eight pictures, eight pages. This place lists items you found. The question appears on the screen when you look at task objects. Blimey. Okay. These arrows are used to change the item. That seems fair enough to me. Let's go. Oh. Attempted creepy girl. I was going to just say creepy girl, but it was... It was just a... It was just a girl. That they then tried to... Adorn in the trappings of creepiness, but it didn't quite work because that just looked like some sort of stock model from somewhere Okay Holy shit, you have no idea How wide I am swinging the mouse to get this to turn Like I'm going all across my entire mouse mat just to get this much tracking on the left and right Okay, here we go to do a full turnaround, that is several sweeps. Oh my god, what is this wobbling? Okay, we are officially controlling a drunk person. Press E, and... Okay. Alright, well that happened, our despair is up. And I'm not surprised if we've been drinking as heavily as I suspect. Let me clap the mouse around on the desk so I can spin. Oh my god, what is with this? This is as fast as we can move as well. Which might be a mercy because I dread to think what a fucking sprint would look like. I'm gonna whack the sensitivity up on my mouse as far as it can go. Okay, there we are. That's something almost approaching workable but i had to whack up the sensitivity to a ludicrous degree to get this yeah to get this as good as it is and it ain't great and we are still the camera shaking is amazing it has been quite some time since i've seen it oh hello yep okay we have just had a bit of a collapse on the stairs, it seems. So I guess that just happens intermittently. No idea if I'm going the right way either. But we saw the scary girl, so maybe. I mean, why put a jump scare up here if you don't intend people to go there? I mean, I, really, I use the word jump scare. Maybe neither jump nor scared, but there you go. Okay, well we've got some heavy breathing. Can't do anything about this door. Obviously, waste of time clicking on there. The, the corpse, the mannequin, the whatever it's supposed to be. Well, there's nothing up here, which is a bit of a pain in the ass because, oh, the battery is over apparently. Yeah, let's add some blinking flashing lights to everything as well. Yeah, yeah, th this this doesn't make things more obnoxious at all. And I guess we're just going to very, very slowly make our way back down the stairs because this wasn't the right way to go. Just if I pick up something off the floor, doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, I don't remember that tutorial screen saying anything about being able to change batteries or anything. So, sorry folks, this is... I think this is what we're dealing with from now on. Well, my adventure continues, I'm on the ground floor again, and to be honest, this is getting 
borderline unplayable. Visually, this is horrific. This is... This is just nasty. I haven't found a single fucking photograph yet. Our despair's through the roof. At this point, I'm just going to press E on the corpses, because they're the only thing that's interactive. And it's starting to look like there's maybe a random chance they'll have what we want, or there'll be a ghost clown. But I feel like the wobbling of the camera's getting worse. And the blinking and the flashing... I mean... I don't have epilepsy or anything like that, like, or, or photosensitivity of any kind, but I'm not liking this. I dread to think how anyone else is fucking dealing with this. Fuck this game. A lot. Not even variance in, in what screams at us. These are really the only things I've seen so far that, that have. Okay. Searching that cops fixed our battery a bit. That's, that's cool. Now the game is almost bearable. The camera is still the fucking pit. Okay, we've got 13 whole seconds on our battery off that fella. Okay, it doesn't happen. Haven't found a single fucking photograph. The battery's gone. Brilliant. Brilliant. Not a great start to Steam's library in 2017, is it? And this is an actually my start, officially. What was that? Have I lost the game? I tried an early access game called... Oh, what was it? Something The Beginning. And that just crashed. And then ruined the recording. So that was my official start to 2017, was a game crashing again. And then we come to this shitty horror game that is visually... Just an assault. It's a visual assault. And I think that's something over there that's interactive that isn't a corpse, but are we going to get to it in time? Press E. Right, we got a book. Hooray. Can't do anything with it right now. So, off we go on our doddering, stumbling, blinking way to have another terrible time somewhere else. Oh, I got disoriented there, turned around by accident. Hardly surprising, given what's going on. I, I honestly can't believe this. I can't believe this is happening. That someone made this and thought, yeah, this is fine. This is alright, what I've done. I'll make them desperately search corpses that have a good chance of killing them. To get a few extra seconds of precious battery. I'll do this with an elevator door as well. I'll do this. And I won't make things interactive. Because I'm a game developer. And I'm making a horror game for Steam. And I don't have to give a shit about anything. Thank God you are die. I mean, that was simply atrocious. Like, like it's one thing to have a game that's really badly designed and you can tell it's because the developer has no budget, no talent, no real idea how to structure any form of entertainment. We see that all the time. Stuff like this is deliberate. This isn't just incompetence. This is a stylistic decision. This is someone who seems to have put something competently together. Like, competently enough to show that they should be better than what they've done. And then they went and did the thing that they're better than doing. Because all of the flashing, blinking lights, the wobbly head, that was deliberate. And that I find less forgivable than a game that's just shit because it never had a chance to begin with. 
when you deliberately, stylistically decide to make it unplayable. Not just like weird looking or, or even uncomfortable viewing. You can do uncomfortable uh, in many different varieties, but actual no interacting with your product is painful and distressing to me. That is just... Why do that in a video game? Of all things. Cause cause it's it's a direct it's not passive, it's not like you're just assaulting the player with like Vic and Bob style weirdness or I I, I realise I'm sounding really speechless and it's because I fucking am. I don't know how that happens. It says at the bottom if you find a bug, but what do I do if it's not a bug, if it's just your core artistic philosophy is fucked? Anyway, that was Horror Hospital. Load of awful shite. Happy 2017, everyone.